following breaking news out of Manchester this morning as police say 22 people are dead, 59 are injured after an apparent suicide bomber detonated a device at an Ariana Grande concert in Manchester, England. Now, President Trump spoke about the incident this morning from Bethlehem and Prime Minister Theresa May also spoke just a day after the blast. This is what I've spent these last few days talking about during my trip overseas. Our society can have no tolerance for this continuation of bloodshed. We cannot stand a moment longer for the slaughter of innocent people. And in today's attack, it was mostly innocent children. It is now beyond doubt that the people of Manchester and of this country have fallen victim to a callous terrorist attack, an attack that targeted some of the youngest people in our society with cold calculation. Now, police say they are treating this explosion as terrorism. Again, 22 people are dead, 59 are injured after an apparent suicide bomber detonated a device. Oh my God. And we do know that children are among the victims. Our Brooke Haves joins us now live in studio to break down the very latest this morning. Brooke. Haley, information is pouring in right now. We've just learned UK police arrested a 23-year-old man in Manchester in relation to the concert attack. Police have also evacuated a large shopping center, but it is not believed to be connected to last night's attack. Greater Manchester police say they believe one man carried out this attack and that person is dead, but they are still investigating whether or not he had accomplices. The explosion struck around 10.30 last night. That was 4.30 p.m. our time. Time. Now here you see footage from social media of the moments of panic after two loud bangs could be heard at the Manchester Arena. The crowd was made up of mainly teenagers and young children with their parents. Police say the bomb went off in a public space outside of the arena as people were leaving the show. Now at this point, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack and so far none of the victims have been identified. I, I can't. It's, it's the most horrible feeling ever to know that your daughter's there. You can't find her. You don't know if she's dead or alive. And I don't know how people can do this to innocent children. Prime Minister Theresa May says police and security staff believe they know the identity of the attacker, but they're not revealing it at this time. Police say an improvised explosive device was used in this attack. Police say about 400 officers were deployed overnight to help with this investigation. A Greater Manchester Police have just tweeted out asking people to avoid the city center and to allow emergency services to continue to work at the scene of last night's incident. Reporting live in studio this morning, Brooke Hafes, NBC26. All right, thank you so much, Brooke. Ariana Grande tweeting out this response following the attack saying, quote, broken from the bottom of my heart. I am so, so sorry. I don't have words. Prior to the attack, she was set to play London on Thursday. She has now suspended the rest of her tour.